Hey everybody, this is Jim. Um, for those of you who follow my coleus page, bear with me, please. I apologize. I do have an uh, interest in cars, too, and I like to shoot out videos every once in a while uh, for people who uh, maybe are having difficulty with their Corvettes or so. So anyway, this is my 1987 Corvette, and I want to do this video on how to change out or replace or take out your electronic air conditioning heat um, heater unit. Um, common problem and the same thing with mine is the buttons after 35 years, 30 years, the buttons, the, the unit works, but the, the display doesn't always work and the buttons, you got to press them real hard sometimes to get them to work, so forth, which is a common problem. So the way you do it real, it's, it's, it's pretty easy. You just got to be very careful and organized. I use this center console place here to put all my screws. So I know everything is in there. Uh, basically, you're going to unscrew, take out your your screws here, and you're going to gently remove this unit. This is your one-piece unit, and you're going to have your information center, your stereo, and this. Now, you need to, ac to access the screws to actually take out the bottom screw here. And for purposes of the video, I'm going to move this out of here. Just to show you, you need to remove this center piece. And that's a pain, but it's not difficult. You have to pop off your shifter. And down below there is that little C ring, the little clip ring. You need to take that out of there with a pair of needle nose. So we'll do that. I already did it, but it clips. You got to use a screwdriver and it clips off again in here. I know where it is. Uh, you gently slide up your shift knob, undo your screws here, here. Those are already done. And there's one in here, two actually on either side. You have to lift. Gently lift this up. You're going to pop this, your boot, just pop it, and you're going to have to lift this up gently and back to get your cigarette lighter unit clear, and then that will give you room to get access. <clears throat> That'll give you room to access the bottom screw. Otherwise, this is going to be blocking your screw. So, in the back of the unit, you have the power couple that goes to the um, HVAC uh, electronic air conditioner heater. Just gently lift up this tab and gently work it back and forth and it'll pop out. Be very gentle. There's not a lot of room. And this is basically the unit. So, whoops, it's upside down. So, and I, again, I'm experiencing the same problem that most of them were. They work, but they, um, the little buttons inside, the contacts are just worn. So, I'm not an electronic technician, I don't know. But there is a uh, company on eBay that refurbishes these. For like a hundred dollars and to me it's well worth it so i'm gonna have this sent out <clears throat> excuse me i'm gonna have it sent out to have it refurbished uh rather than buy another new one or a new old stock one or a used one because this is in excellent condition i um, mean there's some i was just gonna buy another one but then most of them are beat up and really dirty and scratched up this is in excellent shape otherwise but it, it works fine so um, hope this helps out for any of you who want to change out your electronic HVAC air conditioning and heated control on your 1984 to 88, I guess they changed it in 89 or 84 to 89 Corvette if you have the electronic air conditioning and heater. Uh, this is for a 1987 coupe. The convertible one is different. <clears throat> it looks the same. I imagine the screws are probably the same and the console. So again, 
you need to remove the shift knob, the screws, the screws surrounding the air conditioning unit, um, the, the cover. Be careful now, you're gonna have to unscrew this also. Forgot to mention that, you need to unscrew this also because there's a, a tab from this unit right here that slips underneath. Sorry for uh, bad quality. That slips underneath the corner here. So you need to gently pop this away so you can slide it out. So it's not terribly difficult like anything if you work on your Corvette um, and it's old, things can break. So you gotta be real gentle, uh, take your time. Don't do it when you're rushed. And that goes with anything. I've had this uh, Corvette for 20 years and I've rebuilt it myself. And that's uh, one thing I learned, you gotta make sure you take your time. And if you're not sure, write it down, be organized, keep all your screws in one location. Make sure you have the good, correct tools. So again, I use um, basically screwdriver, needle nose, screwdriver, needle nose, and let's, let's see what size this is. A seven millimeter socket um, with the screwdriver attachment. It's, it makes it a lot easier. So, <clears throat> so I'm gonna send this out and have it refurbished and popped up back in and it should be like new, so. Okay, any questions or comments, feel free to post them at the end of the video. I hope this helps out. Um, I really didn't think about posting the video until after I did it, otherwise I would have maybe set up my tripod and, and done it from the beginning, but uh, it might have been a long, drawn out video. But hope this helps out. Uh, again, any questions or comments, leave them at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Again, this is for 1984 to 1989 C4 Chevrolet Corvette, the removal of the air conditioner, electronic air conditioner unit.